The big breaking news, however, is that Nick Bosa has agreed to a record setting deal to make him the highest paid defensive player in NFL history. Now we heard we know there's a holding situation going on with him, but Nick Bosa has officially agreed to a deal in which will make him the highest paid defensive player in NFL history. That is historic news. The San Francisco 49ers lock in their guy and they make Nick Bosa the highest paid player in NF, highest paid defensive player in NFL history, and it's by a wide margin. The holdout is officially over. He will play Sunday at Pittsburgh. That's going to be a heck of a game. But his official numbers on this contract, five years, $170 million, $122.5 million of those dollars are guaranteed. Once again, making him the highest paid defensive player in NFL history. He surpasses the Aaron Donald contract, and he is now the highest paid defensive player in NFL history. What a deal for them. They lock him in on a huge deal. He is going to be the cornerstone of the 49ers defense for the foreseeable future. But I don't want to just to just stop there because listen, listen to this. This is what gets interesting because of the fact that the San Francisco 49ers do not have a quarterback that's on a big contract. Obviously, Brock Purdy, he is the paying, he's being making the least among NFL stars that only $934,000 per season being Mr. Irrelevant. This team has money to spend. And it's interesting because you have a team, this is according to R. Miroff, who talks about this and, and the breakdown of this roster on the payroll. Nick Bosa, the highest paid defensive end in the NFL. Christian McCaffrey, the highest paid running back in the NFL. Kyle Jusick, the highest paid fullback in the NFL. George Kittle, the third highest paid tight end in the NFL. Trent Williams, the third highest paid left tackle in the NFL. Fred Warner, the third highest paid linebacker in the NFL. Javon Hargrave, the sixth highest paid defensive tackle in the NFL. And the seventh highest paid wide receiver in the NFL, Debo Samuel. And this does not even include the fact that they also have Brandon Ayuk, who is also making a nice contract of $14 million per year. Charvarius Ward, who is making $18 million per year. Eric Armstead, who's making $26 million per year. The 49ers have a loaded roster filled with guys that are making lots of money on this roster, which makes them a legitimate Super Bowl contender. Now, let's not get this twisted. The 49ers have a path to potentially win a Super Bowl this year. They, If they can stay healthy at that quarterback position, that's a big if. I realize that. But once again, I like the idea of having Sam Darnold's backup. I trust him in that offense especially. Brock Purdy looked great last year. We'll see what he does this year. Named captain. But this team's got pieces and players all around him so that they can thrive this season. Now, how's it going to work out long term? I don't know. I'm sure we're going to have to see how that goes long term. But the fact of the matter is Nick Bosa is locked in. This team has lots of guys locked in. And I'm excited to see how this roster turns out and how they play this year. Because right now, I'm pretty darn high in the 49ers. They have a squad. Top to bottom, there's not a lot of holes. They've got talent where all the key places are that you need talent. The 49ers currently have that. They possess that. And they have a legitimate chance to win a Super Bowl this season.